So we officially left Tampinens Rovers FC. This decision is a little bit rushed than I thought because I applied for a job and then suddenly they gave me an interview and straight away I got a job. I was very surprised as well because my reputation wasn't even close to that club but we really left Tampinens Rovers FC and this Nord Ali who's former manager of Geylang International replaced me and he kind of messed up the team already if I'm being honest with you so let's go through like the players they sell really quickly before we go into a new club he sold Madoi because he doesn't play left back as you can see here he plays a 3-5-2 his preferred formation first choice is 3-5-2 second choice is 4-4-2 I was hoping for a manager that plays 4-4-2 comes in but it didn't happen it's a manager with a 3-5-2 so he sold Madoi for 24.5k it's still okay and he gets in a Croatian goalkeeper. I think it's a really good one as I remember seeing it in the season preview. Hold on a minute. Singapore division season preview. The goalkeepers here, like best team, uh, Media Dream 11. Got lots of Champions Rovers FC player, Mohana, Mang, my new signing. This Arifi guy. Oh. I signed him to play centre midfield on defensive work, but he plays in the centre back. And then Amiru, Mamedovic, Iksan Fandi, and Pengali. I signed from LC Sailors for free. He's a really good striker. Not Kopitovic level, but he's alright. Oh, yeah. Kopitovic. He is now a free agent. No one trying to pick him up at all. I'm surprised by this. Like, he got 24 goals in 23 appearances, 8.03 average rating. Like, how come you guys don't want to sign him? I don't understand. But I know he doesn't want to renew his contract with Champions Rovers FC, but not sure about the other team, like why. And then what else I want to say about Champions Rovers FC? Oh yeah, in the AFC Champions League group stage, they already lost two games. So it's not likely they're going to qualify in the next round. At least they get a win over Geylang International in the Singapore Charity Shield. Win the first trophy already in extra time as well. Not the greatest result, if I'm being honest with you. But I don't know, man. I, I seriously don't know about what he's gonna do to this Champions Rovers FC that I created. But it's not really my business anymore. It's sad to say, but we move on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jiangsu Suning in China. And I can speak Chinese, so I can read the team names like really good. Maybe not the player's name because, you know, some of them are very hard to pronounce for me as well. So, we are officially in China. Uh, why did I say that again? Our home stadium is called Nanjing Olympic Sports Center. We will probably look at that next episode if I can find it on Google. Last season, they finished 6th place. And I don't know why they sacked their manager. Oh, I think they sacked their manager earlier. Let's just see it really quickly. Uh, where is it again? Club info. There. They sacked their manager like mid-season, which is August. And then they have a interior manager. And then I came in at the end of the season to take the club uh, completely over. I think let's look at the players first. First up, we got Alex Teixeira, a player that is very exciting to look at the stats. He's so good in this team, like 5 star, like way, way better than Kovitovic, like straight away. No offense, Kovitovic, I'm sorry, but Alex Teixeira is next level. He can play as a cam or as a striker, which I will tell you guys where I'm going to play him later. But he's a very, very good striker. Uh, even the central attacking field, like, he can play lots of positions. Like, he's basically the best player we have in the team already. In real life, like he almost signed for Liverpool before he signed for Jiangsu Suning from Shakhtar Donetsk. But we got him here and I'm pretty sure we're going to have some good time with him. The only downside with him is he's 31 years old. But the rest is pretty good in my opinion. Next up, we got this foreign players. Uh, Ivan Santini from Croatia, 31 years old as well. A target man who's quite good as well like his pace is decent as a target man in my opinion and he's four and a half star i think he's okay as well next foreign players we have in the team is this guy called mubarak wakaso uh ghana international eh, he's very good as well as you can see the stats like when i show you the chinese players in the team you will know like the quality difference straight away he's four and a half star and he's gonna be a starter as well 
Next up, we got Miranda, former Atletico Madrid. I think he even won the title with Atletico Madrid, right? Let's just see really quickly. Yes, he does. In 2014, he's retiring next season, but I still got one season in him. And as you can see here, his defending stats still very, very good, except his physical, obviously. Next up is a new signing for me. I made this signing by myself. Douglas Costa, welcome to Jiangsu Suning. 30 years old, but his stats... I don't need to talk about him as well, like really really good, very quick, good crossing, good dribbling, good at everything I want from a winger in my opinion. Maybe not the greatest finishing but the rest is pretty good and he's 5 star in the team straight away. I pay 49 million for him because I told Juventus to help me pay for the wage which they help pay 60k because the board only allow me to only offer 91k and Juventus offering 60k really helps a lot and we got lots of money in the bank I will show you now we got still got lots of money like roughly 40 plus million and then which budget we also got how much uh, sev currently spending 700k so we got 500k uh, I can see it. where was it scouting yes as you can see we got still lots of lots of money but I'm not spending it really because we just passed the transfer deadline they actually uh, it was on 26 as you can see here I didn't sign a lot of players actually I only signed 3 players Douglas Costa and then this Iskanda guy why I signed him he wasn't the greatest obviously but he's a uh, under 23 I think because in the Chinese league rules they want our team to have at least one under 23 player in the playing 11 that's the hard thing about this league in my opinion like not a lot of players are under 23 and Chinese as well I think is it hold on a minute yeah Chinese as well they need to be Chinese and under 23 so we signed this Iskanda guy and he's okay you know got some decent stats as a poacher striker in my opinion not the greatest potential but I don't think I will be here like for really long so not really bother about the potential just need him to come off the bench sometimes I think another under 33 players we have is this guy called Gao Tianyi and he's a central midfield who's okay all-rounder like nothing special but everything's like 10 11 okay one and a half star the potential to be two and half star and he's currently a good player for this Jiang League is like the second division of Chinese League the first division is called China Ping An Super League so we gonna have some trouble when try to play the under 23 players in my opinion that's the only hard part oh I forget to talk about the foreign players rules as well there's lots of rules in this Chinese League oh, press the wrong button rules we can only have 5 foreign players in the playing 11 which I already introduced to you guys the 5 foreign players which you can see Douglas Costa, Alex Texera, Ivan Santini, Wakaso and Miranda all of them are 4.5 star or higher or better the rest you can see the quality like that's massive difference the best player Chinese player we have is this guy Wu Xing 32 years old midfielder he's okay you know really okay at this level all rounder as well like mental sets are pretty good but he's 32 and his physical are going down as well but he's gonna be starter in my opinion so holding for a position our first choice keeper is this called Gu Chao 2 star not gonna go really deep about him he's 31 years old he's okay I hope I hope I not sure about the quality of the players yet because our players abilities like difference are way too big if you look at the stars ability and media predict us to finish 6 that's the thing oh Douglas Costa in, is in the media gym 11 which is a good thing for us he is also up there in the league's key players which is good news the rest are a lot of foreign players as you can see here like Bakambu, Anderson Talishka, Yannick Carrasco, Paulinho, Daniel Rugani from Juventus the rest I'm not too familiar with but we got lots of good foreign players in the league as well. Is Oscar still here? Oscar. Yes, he's still here. Shanghai SIPG we will face him really soon as well, I think. Really good players as well. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared to face him, but let's not talk about him first. Let's go continue our team review first. Okay, we have this. Uh, hold on. This is our starting right back, Zhou Yu, 30 years old. Right back, 
He's a regular starter on 12k. He's okay, you know, not too bad, but he's 30 years old. That's the downside and not the quickest because I'm going to play Douglas Costa at right midfield as an inverted winger. I need my right back to overlap a lot. I'm a little bit worried about him, but I'm going to give him a chance and see how it goes. My other starting standard back is this guy called Ling An or Ling Ang. I'm not too sure, but we're going to call him Ling in the future, I think. Left footed standard back. He's okay as well. Like, he's bad part is his heading and positioning but the rest is okay above average i think he can do a job alongside miranda for us and then we have our left back i think this is gonna be our first choice unless his stats are decreasing already i think hold on a minute let's let me check really quickly yeah i think his crossing was eight earlier yeah, some of his stats are already going now. Ah, god damn, I hate that the most. Like, when I just take over the team and then the players' the stats just decreasing already. He got some pace, but the downside of him is he wants to leave. Hopes the team will make offer to match the price he has agreed to be sold for. When I joined the team, he's already like wants a new challenge, has achieved everything at current club. But the thing is, last season, Jiang Su Suning didn't even win any trophy. I don't know what is he talking about. Oh, and this thing managerial support. I want to show you now. Before I record this video, which I joined at December, the lots of the players are opposed against me. Now, thank God, like slowly going through the preseason and doing the conducting and then praising them. There's left two players that is opposing me now, which is Wu Xing and this Huang Zhichang, another decent striker. His other stats are okay, except his finishing is only 9, so I'm probably gonna want to try to play him at right wing. I think that's the future for him. I'm not too sure yet, but we will see how. And only player that support me is Iskanda, who I bought. Even I bought Douglas Costa in, he doesn't support me as well, which is weird. But I'm glad at least the players are slowly starting to have no real opinion of me. I also hope we can get going straight away to hopefully gain the support of the player. Because the boards are, you see, unsettled and your lack of support, that's a little bit worrying because our current profile hold on a minute. We are now 2 star, which is good. I think joining this Jiangsu Suning team actually helped us because Jiangsu Suning has 3, uh, two and a half stars, sorry, which helps our reputation, I think. And, oh, by the way, look at the career stats for me in 10 minutes over FC. 87 win percentage. Going into this season, the percentage is gonna go now 100% because this league is way harder than Singapore League. Look at the trophies we have! 4 D, yay! Let's not talk about the past anymore. Oh, we currently starting for Continental B license as well. So, which is good thing as well, we are getting closer to the Continental Pro license. Our stats are getting better and better as well. And... Oh, our working with Youngster actually rise to 6 and then the death rate is still only 4. Hmm... Thank god I still put my starting the uh, manager stats most on adaptability on the mental size, which is good selection in my opinion. But why did I stop earlier? Uh I'm I'm sorry this episode is a little bit messy because there's too many things to talk about and I'm confused as well if I'm being honest with you. Uh okay, I already introduced to you our starting level actually, so let's quickly look at the tactics as well. We're gonna stick to the 442, but slight changes. Most of the uh, tactical style here is still almost the same. But the only changes is Santini is a target man. I already told you guys he's pretty good at it. He has the traits of play with back to go. So target man suits him. He got good hitting and good jumping as well, which is important. Great aggression, uh, some good strength as well. He's going to be a good target man on support. And then we got Douglas Costa on the right as an inverted wing. I did told you guys just now as well. The only two difference is this part, the rest. Okay, we have Gao Tian Yi on deep line playmaker. Last time is Xia Xia here on central midfield defense. And Wu Xing on central midfield on support. Last time is Mabidovich as advanced playmaker. Now we go a little bit uh, defensive, I think. Is that the right way? Not too sure, but it's kind of something like this. We're going to try like this now. If it doesn't work, we will change to something like 4 Two, three, one, or four, four, one, one. But we're gonna give this a go first and see how it went. Players that we saw, lots of them are not first team actually. Like here, uh, all B team or reserve team or under nineteen. This Ma Fu Yu player striker, 
uh, was pretty good. Like, he got lots of potential, but this Beijing Guan team just came in for him and he just doesn't want to negotiate or talk to us anymore. He just say like, I want to leave. So we get, how much was it? 6 million. And then 25% like sell profit for next sale, I think, which is okay. Because he only got 8 finishing. Like the rest of staff is pretty good, but he only got 8 finishing is not going to be a striker for me. <laughs> At least for me. And then next we sell this. He's a first team player. Feng Bo Yuan. What I don't like about him is he cannot finish. His composure is poor. He's not a striker. And he cannot play other position. He's not natural at them. So I just sell him. 500k. Okay. I can accept that. This Zhang Li Fei guy as well. I got two many central infields. And I just like listed a lot of them that are not in my plan. And then see who's gonna get offers first. And then this 23 years old Chinese central midfield get an offer. I just sell him for 800k. Okay, you know, not too bad. Okay, price as he's currently priced at 825k. Some wage off. And then we have long four players out. Only this guy is in the first team. Tao Yun, number seven for us. Uh, he's not the greatest. Two star ability only, like, got some pace, but cannot cross can dribble only so i'm not too but heard about him leaving on loan because we got lots of players as well in the team uh, anything else i miss hold on a minute uh okay let's go to the crop vision really quickly i already told the board to improve the training facilities and the youth facilities and they accept it really quickly as we got lots of money so not a problem for them and let's see we got two years contract, I forget to tell you guys. Our club vision, we can assign non-Chinese goalkeepers because we can only play Chinese goalkeepers. And then sign players under the age of 23 for first team, we sign Iskandar and they are satisfied, which is good. Increase commercial revenue, I need to work out on that, I think. But should be fine, as it's only two out oh, of four imports, should be fine. Work within budget, we still got a lot of money in the bank, so no problem. And, and then in the league, we are supposed to finish top half, I don't think it's a problem. And then we have qualifying for the quarterfinal for the Chinese Cup. Should be okay as well in my opinion. Last season we also got knocked out in the quarterfinal. And I did told you guys we are predicted to finish 6th. But let's look at it again really quickly. Should be fine. I want us to finish top 4 so we can qualify for the AFC Champions League next season. Hopefully that's the target for this season. Don't think the title is possible but... Let's give it a shot anyway. I'm not sure how good our team is. Which I'm gonna play a game now against... Uh, this is last season schedule. Shandong Lunan. This is the first league game of the season as well. So let's get going straight away without further ado. I decided to end up splitting the episode into two. Because I think the introduction took a little bit longer than I thought. So the first episode of Jiangsu Suning will be just introduction. And then the episode tomorrow will be our first league game of the season, obviously, uh, two games straight away actually. So I think that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow for first league game of the season.